What's up guys? My name is Francis and welcome back to the Rugged Tyros. If you're new to this channel, a Tyro is a beginner. Come with me as we learn and explore the great outdoors. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that this episode is brought to you by Connected to the Land. Connected to the Land was created to bring Canadians together during a time of isolation. Connected to the Land has articles and videos on a variety of topics including gardening, recipes, DIYs, hunting, and ice fishing. Don't forget to check out Connected to the Land's podcast to hear how everyday Canadians are connecting to the land. I'm spending the next 24 hours on the ice. This is something I've been really wanting to do and I've never done this before, like ever. So basically I studied how I could achieve the two things I really like the most, camping and ice fishing at the same time comfortably. With the homie Rocky, of course. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm challenging myself to 24 hours on the ice. I just finished setting up and we're going to get to some fishing here shortly. Well a fish on the camera, that's a good sign right? Wow, it's such a beautiful day. And to think I spent all my time preparing for like negative 30s. See anything down the hole, Rocky? Well, I'm gonna let my stove run so I can boil some water and gives it a little bit of warmth in here with the door open. Seeing as I put this floor down, I'm going to treat this like an Asian household and put my slippers on. And I guess we'll wait. Well, other than a fish on the screen, I haven't seen much action at all today. I'm literally 30 feet from where I was last week. She's pretty warm, so Rocky's outside playing. I have the door open. The heat's still going because I'm gonna be making food. So, yeah. Nothing but the finest and healthiest cuisine here. Even after a little jigging, still nothing. Man, the bite has been slow. It is warm, I have my sunglasses on, and yeah, I still haven't caught any fish. But hey, people get skunked. You'll get skunked, everyone gets skunked, it's part of fishing. Well, I'm going to take a quick break from fishing and talk about fishing. So I consider myself new to ice fishing because I'm always learning new things. So today I'm going to talk about ice fishing for beginners and share with you guys what I've learned. So basically I'm going to talk about types of ice fishing. So when I was learning, like I didn't have much gear. You don't need much gear to do this. You can literally drill a hole, drop a line, and sit on a bucket. This sort of activity is actually really, really inexpensive. Again, you don't need much. Uh, an auger or someone to drill the hole for you. An ice fishing rod. 
and some bait. These minnows are one of my secret weapons, but check with your local regulations to see what you can use in your lakes. And you're set. And the other thing about ice fishing for beginners is that when you start catching fish, it's satisfying. And you're gonna wanna do it over and over. And honestly, like it's, it's thrilling, it's exhilarating. And you're gonna get hooked. I personally think that this is one of the safest hobbies. And as long as you take the proper precautions, it can be so fun. And ice fishing is great because it's a good way to get outdoors. So in my last video, I talked a little bit about ice thickness. So today I'm gonna to cover a little bit about ice safety. So one of the first things that I learned when I first started ice fishing was that if you're taking a vehicle, like your truck, your car, SUV, whatever it may be, onto the ice, is to open the window so you can hear the cracking, then you take off your seat belt. When I saw all these other guys taking off their seat belt when we got to the lake, I was, I was a little confused as to why. But the reasoning is, you want a quick getaway. If you happen to go underneath that ice, you want to be able to get away as fast as you can. So I make it a habit now, as soon as I hit the ice, seatbelt off. I talked about this last video, but I think the best way to check like ice thickness is to actually go out, walk on the ice and drill a hole and measure the actual thickness. Like I want to know for myself that it's safe enough for me to drive my vehicle on the ice. So if I don't see any other vehicles on the ice, there's a surefire chance that I'm not going to be taking my vehicle on the ice. But if you're a little bit leery, check. Check for yourself. Now walking on ice is a huge deal. I've had my fair share of spills, so I always try to keep my cleats on or around me at all times. Mine actually came in a kit with the next thing I'm going to talk about, which is ice picks. There's a lot of different styles of ice picks. These ones are pretty cool because the sheaths kind of retract to expose the points. I've never had to use these and I don't plan to use these. I try to be aware of the ice thickness at all times. I don't think you'll catch me venturing out onto thin ice, but in the event that you do fall in, you have these around your neck, you pull yourself out by clawing into the ice with it. One thing I always carry on me too, when I'm outdoors, is a knife. When I'm ice fishing, I carry two knives. And the reason why I have these two knives in my pockets at all times is the same principle as carrying around this. Like I said, I've never had to use any picks or knives. I've never fallen through the ice and I don't intend to. But in the event that I do, I want to be prepared. Another big part of safety is being aware of your surroundings. And I'm not talking about the guy over there on the quad. And I'm not talking about the guy over here in a big shack. I'm talking about know what the weather's gonna be. I knew it was gonna be windy this morning. So I set myself up in the wind and I also prepared my tent with these straps to keep my walls from being blown in. One thing in regard to weather that I always pay attention to as well is the direction the wind's coming in and at what time roughly, at least so you know and that you're prepared that the wind's gonna shift. So this next tidbit of information is really vital. Dress warm, dress to the weather. There's nothing worse than being cold and unprepared. Not everyone can afford like an ice castle, ice tent, ice chalet, ice hut, ice shanty, whatever it may be. I can't emphasize this enough. Dress to the weather. Don't be too hot, but don't be too cold. Overall, just take it easy out there. Take it slow. I know there's a lot I didn't cover with basic gear and safety, but this should get you guys started. This is the basic and I'll cover more in videos to come.
So it's just about supper time, so I'm gonna quickly cook myself and maybe Rocky, if he's lucky, a meal, and yeah. Ooh, snap, he busted out the walk? Just because we're kind of slumming it doesn't mean we're not eating good. Seven o'clock, guys. I just made dinner. Just gonna have a quick meal. I'm gonna try to target some burbs tonight with some glow in the dark lures. Haven't had much luck all day today, so hopefully, we catch something tonight. Hopefully. Gonna try my luck with this glow worm. That should attract attention. And I'm gonna try pounding this one off the bottom. Oh yeah. That should definitely attract attention. No bueno. So, I'm gonna try a glow stick lure. Sweet, some entertainment. After very many unsuccessful attempts at trying to catch fish at night here, I think Rocky and I are just gonna head to bed. Like, it's late and like we haven't seen action at all i'm hoping to wake up at like two in the morning till my bell's ringing so here's to hoping night guys man there's gotta be a reason why i haven't caught any fish today maybe i just suck at fishing maybe i'm just a horrible fisherman Maybe I just shouldn't fish at all. Any luck out there today? I've got skunked all day long? Hey, my buddy from Alberta Fishing Trips, Mitchell, commented. He's saying because of the wind tonight that there's a pressure system that moved through. Bite's going to be slow. Huh. Well, guys. Good morning, it's 6.30 in the morning, and I'm out of propane, and it is freezing in here. I didn't feel, and it's freezing in here, and I didn't feel the wood stove, so I'm gonna try to start another fire here, cause it's cold, holy. And I'm almost up on my 24 hours, and still no fish. I guess I'm gonna try to just go back to bed and finish the rest of the 24 hours off. Cold. It's shivering. Oh, good morning guys. Finally, I just got up and yes, woo! Good morning. The skunk is off! Alright guys, so this morning I finally caught a fish. So that's it. I lasted 24 hours on the ice and I'm going to pack up now. I want to go home and have a good meal. I want some heat. I'll catch you guys on the next one.
Well, guys, I hope you found that episode as entertaining as I did making it. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that sh like button, share this video. And if you haven't already and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then that bell icon for more notifications from the Rugged Tyros here on Tequila Creative. I'll catch you guys later.